Okay, so I think the plan for camp is um, I'm going to do a reflector tarp just like I normally do. Probably have my back to here, have a long fire there, and uh, that way I don't freeze to death. Hoorah! But first, a message from our sponsor. I'm just joking, I don't have any sponsors. Uh, it's been so long since I've been in the woods and had a beer. <clears throat> All of last year, I didn't drink any alcohol, period, whatsoever. So to be out here with a beer, it's really nice. So yeah, I'm going to get camp set up. The sooner I get camp set up, the sooner I can get something to eat. Bop off a couple of shells with the, uh, with the 22. The uh, landowner told me uh, that the coyotes are going to be pretty loud because they've been rowdy lately. So that should be fun if we hear any tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a, a mansion compared to my other tarp. Fake paracord from eBay. Uh, what is this? like a B-movie alien for crying out loud from the 1950s. We got a fire started for crying out loud. I guess I should have flattened out this area before I put the tarp down, but whatever. There we go. Home sweet home! Ugh. Ah, yeah! No kidding, home sweet home. Ooh, it's good to be back in the woods, breathe some real air. Ah. Yeah, no, I'm not expecting any bad weather. Um, the next two days are supposed to be like really, really nice, so uh, don't worry about me. Um, with how open this is. Um, yeah, this is still got a pitch on it. I could bury on in here if I had to. And uh, yeah, I found my other tarp in my bag. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but actually, I'm not because I've been meaning to experiment with this tarp for the longest time anyways. I was thinking about turning it into a, a hot tent. But uh, no, I'm a, I'm a lazy bugger. So anyways... Got to make sure that this is uh, comfortable. Oh, I might actually sleep tonight. Yes. Uh, it's the reason why I love camping so much is because um, I, I don't sleep well at all unless I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Weird, eh? <coughs> Ooh, I need some food, too. Lunch is coming up. Okay, let's get this fire started, shall we? Got our birch bark. Burn. Whew. That's a good one. Yep, we got fire. That quick, folks. Whew. Right on. Nothing left to do now but just chill out, read my book, have some beers. I knew it was going to be a good day today. For once.
Okay, if you'll excuse me, I am going to be a bum. I'll keep you posted if anything comes up. Well, I'm having a blast. Cheers. So yeah, this is the book I was telling you all about. First Blood. It is so good. I'm actually blown away. And I'm like cranking this. <laughs> it's only 300 pages. Um, but the writing is really small. It is what it is. But it is a uh, very action-packed read. Uh, if you're a Rambo fan, or if you like to read about outdoor survival stuff, then this is this is up your alley for sure. You just get it on Amazon. It was like 25 bucks. But yeah, great, great book. Totally different from the movie. Rambo is actually like a psychopath, and he actually kills people, unlike the movie. So you can you can imagine where the shenanigans go. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it or anything like that. Anyways, First Blood, David Morrell. If you haven't read it yet, you're missing out. can that time. That, that is one hot fire, folks. Big time. And with the reflector here, woo -hoo -hoo. a lot of people say to me, oh, you're crazy for doing winter camping. And it's like, not when you're sleeping next to an inferno. <laughs> just just make make a long fire and dude you're good to go wear your thermals you know thermal underwear underwear uh, bring extra socks good sleeping equipment and there's no problems yeah make sure that you bring uh, some soup and oatmeal and hot chocolate and all that fun stuff too don't worry I got that <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not a fool I, I if, if I think I'm going to be cold, hot soup. If I think I'm going to be cold, hot chocolate. But we're, we're going to be fine. Dude, it's been the warmest day in months. So I'm not worried about anything. Having fun, though. I'm having an absolute blast. She's a bit smoky. I will admit that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some good shit. Alright. Alright. We'll just do three slices of bacon for now. Ooh, you hear that, eh? Oh, beauty. Yeah, cook her low and slow. That's the way to go. You know? Man, it is beautiful out here. Drop dead gorgeous. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now. Well, maybe one more, one other place, but 
We gotta wait till summer to go there. Yeah. Real bacon from a real butcher shop. No messing around. Ooh. Man, it is seriously easy to roll an ankle in this stuff. Mamma mia, go scoop or noon. Yeah, the wooded beardsman, he's got his wadobo, but I've got cool runnings. No messing around here, boys and girls. Before any of you go, oh my god, he's butchering real, real bacon with, with, with spice. Hey, listen, it's uh, it's my bacon. I can do what I want with it, all right? So, <sighs> when you fork out $35 just for bacon, uh, then we can talk. Till then, uh, yeah. <laughs> your, your opinion is null and void. Mmm, this is gonna be good. Ah, that's hot. Beautiful. And uh, nothing beats cooking on a fire because you got all of that smoke and all of the flavor from all the, the wood, you know what I mean? Uh, like if you cook a burger on a charcoal grill versus a propane grill, you can taste the difference immediately. Not that I'm hating on propane, it's just, eh. I use propane for heat, not cooking. <laughs> but that's just me, that's just me. Hear that plane? First sign of life I've seen in a couple hours. <coughs> Another one you need to do is you need to get it out in the woods more. If you could spend 24 hours by yourself or 48 hours by yourself, it's uh it's something you need to do if uh ooh, if you want to clear your mind, you know. And don't bring your cell phone with you. Crying out loud. The whole point of going out here is to get away from that stuff. Even though I'm using technology right now, I'm just using it to document. I'm not texting or doing any other crap when, when you're supposed to be out in the moment and in the in the woods, you know? I can shut this camera off and I, I can totally forget that I'm making a video and I can still enjoy myself out here. I'm not obligated to make a video. I just like making videos because, you know, it's fun, you know? It adds that extra little bit of fun when, when you're camping. But if you go out here with a cell phone and you're just on Facebook the whole time, it's like, why did you bother coming out here? You know what I mean? Get lost. fun. Gunpowder and bacon smell. And fire smell. <sighs> awesome. Okay. Fork. What the fork did I do with it? Eh. You don't need no fork. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is what life is about, folks. Mmm. That is what it's about, man. Going back 200 years at least. I'm hearing a chainsaw, and I normally don't hear that out here. But I just pretend it's Leatherface, and then it's like, oh, okay, you know, he's just doing his thing. But here on a chainsaw up here, this is weird. By God, that is so good. Man, this is really good. I wish you guys were with me, man. Although I enjoy being alone, but... I'd like to make a video 
where I bring some other people on. You know what I mean? I want to I want to make a video with the people that say I'm nuts for doing a winter camp and bring them out for a night winter camping. And they would see that it's not half as bad as they think it is. Like, I'm having a blast right now. It, you, know what, you know what's funny is that it could be minus 10 or minus 15 or minus 19 and I'm still having fun. You know, it's cold, but what you do? Get over it. Get some food in you. Get a fire started. It's good times, man, all the way around. It beats Disneyland, that's for sure. Oh, it's so delicious. Yeah, and with that cool runnings, that's the way to go. Shobrebara! That's what I'm talking about. Well, I hope you've stuck around this far in the video. I'm having a blast, as always. Keeping warm. I brought all the uh, wood closer to me. Wind's going that way. So we're doing good. This giant log that's sticking out all the way that is some mighty hard wood, and that's probably what's gonna last me for the <gasps> probably what's gonna last me for the rest of the night. So, right on. Yep. Only issue is the smoke, but I'll live. Hopefully we, uh, hopefully we hear some coyotes tonight. We'll see. Looking good. Sun's going down too. Spooky time. Well, the steak is done. So good. Oh, yeah. Perfectly pink in the middle. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. It's got uh, a nice little zest at first. And then you have the smoke from the fire. And then just the meaty bloodiness just as an aftertaste. And it's just, oh, so good. This is a thick steak, too. Whoa. Oh, that is so good. You have no idea. <laughs> cool runnings. Won't disappoint. This is the way to go, man. Old school. It lights the, the whole camp is lit is lit up. I don't know if you can see it on the camera very well, but it is. <laughs> wow. And I have two of these things. Like I should have brought both of them out. But um. Nah, it's. it's <laughs> this is so cool. Whew, I'm a little chilly, but. So day one, a lot of fun. This is so cool. So much fun. Well, I think I'm gonna curl into bed, curl up in a ball and stay warm. Uh, we will see you in the morning. Uh, I'll, I'll keep you posted if anything happens in the night, you know. Uh, coyotes or uh, the Blair Witch or Wendigo. We'll see what happens. Cheers.